I've been fascinated with uh, analog electronics and their relevance to their theory of computation. This is uh, Paul Falstad's uh, circuit simulator program, and I'm particularly interested in the op-amp, or operational amplifier, because this very important component is involved in everything, uh, and to get an intuitive understanding of it, uh, you can play around with this simulator. It's got two inputs that are controlled by these two sliders, and there's a non-inverting input uh, with a plus and an inverting input with the minus. If the non-inverting input is greater than the inverting input, the output is 15 volts, the maximum positive output. And if it's any less, then the output is minus 15 volts, the maximum negative input. So it's a bang-bang comparator that goes from maximum plus to maximum minus <clears throat> depending on the relative values of these two voltages. Now when you um, add some more components to this, for example you can add a wire over here, we'll disconnect that upper connection, and if I just connect the output to the inverting input, then a strange thing happens. This becomes a follower. So whatever voltage I put on this non-inverting input, it uh, uh, produces that same voltage on the output, but it buffers it so that if you put a load on it, it will, uh, it will uh, uh, energize it and keep it going. So to understand the principle of how this works, I wrote a... Uh, Simulator, again in uh, uh, Python and Matplotlib, with a uh, water voice analogy, voice hydraulic voice analogy. Oh, stop this nonsense. And can be used. Uh, command, there we go. We got this. Okay, here's our op-amp hydraulic analogy. Here are the two inputs. This one's the non-inverting input, and uh, this one is the inverting input. And imagine these as hydraulic pressures that go to a cylinder with a piston in it. If the pressure of the non-inverting input is greater than the inverting input, it slams over to one side, and if it's the other way, then it slams over to the other side. Now, the red bar here is also a valve, and when this... Uh, bar slides over to the left, this valve opens the input from the plus 15 volts and connects it to the output, whereas when the inverting input is greater than the non-inverting input, this valve gets closed and that valve gets opened. And if you run this at just the right point in the middle, there's a kind of linear range, we can show it here with this function line, that in this range there's a kind of a linear response before it goes to the bang-bang control, all right? So now to demonstrate how this works, we will now connect the inverting, uh, the output to the inverting input so here, this is the same as before, except now the output is connected by this feedback line to the inverting input. And so look what happens. If I increase the non-inverting input, it pushes the piston to the left. But as it does so, it opens this valve, which creates a positive pressure. And that positive pressure comes around and feeds back and adding to the inverting input, and it brings the piston to a stop. And if I readjust this piston location, uh, th uh, this uh, pressure, the piston responds with a proportional uh, response. Um, it is self-regulating itself by negative feedback to always produce an output here that's proportional to this input. If we make the inverting input zero, then this becomes a follower where the output voltage is a simple copy of this input voltage. And if we make the inverting input, uh, sorry, the uh, non-inverting input zero, now this is a negative follower. It will follow the negative of the voltage on the inverting input. So that's the um, purpose of the op-amp. And this uh, little demo shows 
uh, how easily you can create dynamic demos like this with uh, Python and Matplotlib.